I am Rob and what we're going to do here is we're going to install the EPN Enhancer to the Eclipse IDE. So first of all, I'm uh, going to go install new software. Um, the URL that we're going to go to is the eBeam website, so that's ebeam-orm.github.io and then we're going to add an Eclipse update after that to the URL and with that we get a released uh, version of the eBeam Eclipse Enhancer 492, that's the current version. And accept and license and stuff and install. Uh, now as after this installation there's, there's pretty much just one thing I really need to show you which is that um, yep let me start let me start Uh, that we could turn the enhancement on and off. So I just need to show you that as a, a menu on the project. Um, so here I've got a small project called Example Minimal. And in here it's got a, an entity bean. And it's got a, a test that will run. Test, customer test, which will, in this case here, this is, does an insert of a customer. Now, if we go right mouse click on the project and go down to configure, we can actually enable the eBeam Enhancer. So that means that the enhancement is on. Um, so if we run this test, um, uh, the test runs and this does a insert into a customer, um, bulk, etc. So that's good. Now if we didn't have the enhancement running, so if we actually go and turn the enhancement off, um, and test again, um, it'll buff, and the buff is that the um, the bean customer is not enhanced, so eBeam does not uh, does not run. So let's turn that back on. Configure eBeam Enhancer. And when we are doing the enhancement, if we go to the error log, what you'll see at the bottom of the error log here is information messages saying that the enhancement has occurred. Um, so uh, if we were to change a customer um, and something else, whoa, whoa, better learn how to type some way. Okay, so we've, we've just changed that and now at the bottom here, we've got another enhancement message. That was probably hard to see, so let's clear the log. And uh, oh, let's just get rid of it. There we go. It's me enhanced customer. So if you're wondering what's going on, you, um, you could also look in the error log and there's information messages coming out of that. So yeah, and then we go into the should it be all good run. Just run the whole test. Good. Just did a couple of inserts. Jim and Rob did a select and an update there. So that's all good. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I really wanted to show in this. Thank you. Cheers.